<laughs> Manservant? Manservant. What are you doing in Mr. Bernard's house? This is Chad Lindsay with Sackville.Live. In 1977, the students of Sackville Heights Junior High School compiled a book filled with tales of horror that all took place within our own community. Join me tonight as we explore Cries at Kinsack Corner. Tonight's episode was written by Shelley Lively and it's entitled The Hand. One day, a man who lived in Bedford was telling a group of friends about a murder that took place months ago. The murder happened in Birch Cove, which was once part of Bedford. It all started when an Englishman, Sir John, took a lease for several years on a small villa at the end of a gulf. Sir John brought with him a French servant whom he had engaged in Marseille as he was passing through. Manservant! I am in need of a wipe! Oh, wait, no, no, just take a few more sweeps. Oh, that's nice. Pine needle there. Also there, right there. Wonderful, Manservant. Now wipe me! Soon everyone became interested in this odd person who lived alone with his servant, never going out except to hunt and fish, never speaking to anyone, and never once going into the village. Every morning he would practice for an hour, firing a pistol and carbine. <laughs> Did you see that, Man Seven? Did you see? Were you looking? You better have been watching, Man Seven, to so help me God you'll be my next target. All kinds of stories were told about him. They claimed he was an important dignitary fleeing his country for political reasons. They also asserted that he was hiding out after committing a serious crime. Manservant, do you remember that slight indiscretion I had overseas? You would be best to shut your trap about it. By the way, the view was fantastic tonight. <laughs> Mr. Bernard, the man telling this story, wanted to investigate this man. Now, I have to be serious at this point. Uh, in this story, we don't know if Mr. Bernard is part of the police or he's a private investigator. The story is very unclear. Mr. Bernard, the man telling this story, wanted to investigate this man. I'll ask him. No, no, and no! Sir, you cannot stay cooped up inside. I said no, man servant. Please, perhaps it would be good for you. You should probably go. Au revoir! Mr. Bernard finally arranged to see Sir John. Hello, Sir John. I am Mr. Bernard, and I would like to investigate you. Okay, Mr. Bernard. Are you law enforcement? That is unclear. Oh, by all means, just walk the f*** in. If you mention one thing about those horrible crimes I committed overseas, I will sell you to the Turks. The Turks, manservant! He arranged to see him, and after five or six visits, Mr. Bernard noticed Sir John's rifle collection. He's been here five or six times now, and you had better hope he does not find... Hey, a rifle collection! Mr. Bernard, I see that you have found my rifle collection. Tease up in one moment. He also noticed a dusty, cobweb-covered organ standing in the corner of a dark room. Going over to examine it more closely, he saw a human hand. The hand was dry, bony, and blood-stained. He found the rifle collection, so help me God, he better not find the- Oh my God, what is this? Well, let's not jump to conclusions, man-servant, it might- it's the hand! Mr. Bernard thought Sir John was a very weird and outstanding man, so he never visited him again. One night, when Mr. Bernard was lying in bed, he got a phone call from the police saying that Sir John had been murdered that night around 12 o'clock. A telephone call at this hour.
Mr. Bernard? Yeah, not sure if you're a cop or not, but that creepy old British dude? Yeah, he's dead. I see. Time to investigate. The body lay beside the organ. It was deathly white. But the most startling thing Mr. Bernard noticed was that Sir John's right hand was missing. The blood-stained hand still lay on the organ, but one of the fingers was missing. Mr. Bernard saw in Sir John's mouth the missing finger. What? Good. It's rather cold. Sir John, crazy old bastard. Bastard! <laughs> This strange hand has been connected with Sir John's death, but it is, and was, a very baffling myth. Touché, yet another wonderful tale of horror from Sackville's past. This has been Sackville Stranger Things. I'm Chad Lindsay. Sackville.Live is brought to you in part by the Doctor's Formula, plant-based supplements for professional athletes. And our friends at Quick Save Fuels on Cobbaquid Road, go to quicksavefuels.com to save. And still going strong after 43 years, Kaiser Subs. Yum!